Are you facing issues while starting the Kex server on Kali NetHunter? I tried various fixes, including reinstalling Tiger VNC and exploring alternatives for getting a graphical interface without using Kex. While these methods were complex and time-consuming, I eventually found a straightforward solution using an earlier version of the Kali root file system. I have attached the working root FS file in the video description. Download it to your phone, as I have already done in my case, once downloaded. You need to import this file into the Termux working directory. Open Termux, grant storage permissions if not already done, by using the command Termux setup storage. This will allow access to the shared storage directory. Navigate to your phone's download folder where the root FS file is located. Use the cd command to change directories and else to view the contents of directory. You can also type cd storage slash download to navigate in the download folder. Now we are in download folder and this is our rootfs file. Our next task is to copy the downloaded rootfs file to the termux working directory. You can confirm your current directory by using the pwd command. Now this home directory is the Termux directory. Type cp followed by the name of the downloaded rootfs file and then paste the working directory of Termux. Press enter and it will copy the rootfs file into Termux. Once the file is copied, navigate to the Termux home directory using cd command. Now this is our old rootfs file. Copy the name of this file um, and delete the old rootfs file by using the rm command. Then rename the downloaded rootfs file to match the name of the deleted one using the mv command, like I am doing. After that, delete the ch root folder using rm hyphen rf command. Also delete the CaliArm64 directory if available using same command. Then run the installer script again and follow the prompts. Don't delete anything until Kali NetHunter is successfully installed. Kali is installed and it is working perfectly. Now let's check if Kex is working by running nh kex. It will ask for a password. Note that passwords are invisible while typing. Type n when it asks for view only mode. If everything goes smoothly, the Kex service will run. Finally, Kex is running. This video took a lot of effort to create. If you appreciate my work, please consider subscribing to my channel. Copy the port number. Open the NetHunter Kex app and tap the plus icon to enter the port number and password. Save it and tap the newly created Kex window. And just like that, boom, you're now in the Kali Linux graphical interface and it is working perfectly. Before we end this video, there's one more thing I need to mention. Enable developer options on your phone and disable the child process. This will ensure the KeyX server stays running, otherwise your Android system may terminate it.